So today we're going to focus on uh, some ways in which we can get to know the fretboard of the ukulele and do something that all singers have to do, which is warm up our voice. So why not do the two things at the same time? Um, so um, we're going to focus on the first four frets of the ukulele and uh, if you want a crash course on how to hold the ukulele um, this is the way that the wonderful uh, Sarah Meisel and uh, Craig Chi teach uh, to hold the ukulele. You're going to um, rest the lower bout of the ukulele on your thigh if you're sitting and uh, on this side we're going to have the neck that is um, resting on our hand. We're going to make a nice straight wrist with our hands and rest the neck of the ukulele like this and um, just fold our fingers um, around like this uh, so that we have a nice straight wrist here and reduce stress on our hands. And uh, we're going to assign four fingers, there are four fingers to each of the four frets and so we're going to make um, Go on the top string, for example, I'm going to be able to reach my C sharp, C, B, B flat, and open string for the A. And similarly for the other strings as well. Let's start here on the third fret. I'm on my E string, so I've got my open strings on the ukulele are G, C, E, A. And we often refer to the strings uh, by the name of the open string. So that this top string that's closest to my, uh, actually, depending on how you think of it, this is the top string. The A string can be the top string of the ukulele. So that's why I'm going to avoid using top and bottom, and I'm just going to call the string that's closest to me, the G string, C, E, A. All right? Um, so we're going to start on our E string at the third fret, uh, which becomes the note G. And um, let's do some nice warm-ups, like the things that I like to do in the morning are to hum and uh, get my uh, vocal folds moving in a nice safe way with a closed mouth, relaxed tongue, and I'm just going to go Now in order to get to know the ukulele, I'm going to say the name of the note as I pluck it. And I'm going to look down there to make sure my finger's in the right place. So I'm looking down, I'm at the third fret, my ring finger is down to make the note G, and I say G, G flat, F, E. Then I go over to my C string. And I've already played the E, but I could get the E with my pinky. Okay, but I've already played the E, so now on my, my ring finger is at the third fret, that's E flat. E flat, mm, D, mm, D flat, mm, C. Mm. So I've gotten to know already the notes between C and G. And now I can go up again. I'm not going to do the humming. I'll do something else. Uh, maybe I'll do some uh, tongue trills. Trrr, like this. All right. So I might go C, trrr, C sharp, trrr, D, trrr, D sharp, trrr, and so on and so forth. I won't do the whole uh, sequence. Um, but you get the meaning, right? What I'm doing is, I'm as I move down, I'm uh, naming the notes by their flatted names. These are, the, these are the notes that would correspond to the black keys on a piano. Um, those are sometimes referred to as enharmonics because, for example, an F sharp is also a G flat. It depends what key you're in. If you're in a key that has sharps in its key signature, then you're going to give the, the notes their sharpened, their sharped names. Uh, if you're in a flatted key signature, then you're going to use the flat names for the notes. Um, and a lot of jazz music tends to be recorded in flat keys. So it's good to get to know both names, uh, both ways of naming the notes. So um, I encourage you to uh, go through all the frets on the ukulele uh, in the first four frets and go through the names of the notes and do exactly like we did here in the video, which is sing the name of the note 
and then start whatever exercise you're going to do with your morning warm-up or uh, your pre-gig warm-up uh, and uh, you'll get to know the fretboard quickly in this way and it's a fun way of getting to know the fretboard while also doing something that all singers have to do. All right, have fun. Bye. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist where someone's waiting to be kissed? 